Hey everyone, this is Ink, um, and today I am here with a very special guest, the one, the only, the Mask Man. Or is it Hades, or is it Asura? <laughs> uh, thanks for uh, having me. That's, that's actually like, I, I realized ever since I like started the, the whole persona thing, I've been, that, that question's been asked of it, but uh, yeah, uh, Mast, Mast for this video, so. No, I mean, I actually like it because now I can like kind of envision your character having like, let's say seven different personalities and they all like use like, like different weapons. So it's like seven different souls that's sharing one body. Right, right, right. That's just kind of the idea, concept I'm going for, slowly integrating ah. it and all that. So yeah. Cool. All right. So, um, I guess like the main reason why I wanted to like, um, just to um manga quotes well, it's because mm -hmm. i keep like you know seeing like these videos about like like our favorite um character design and like you know their um whole personality yet some of my favorite characters have become like you know favorite characters because of like the um quotes that were like given to them right right this is like to this day, Pain will like always be my favorite Naruto antagonist. Like if Naruto would have just ended at the Pain arc, I would have been like fine and, and happy with that. That um cycle of hatred, after Pain said that speech, I'm like, you know what? This guy will, will like forever be my top third favorite antagonist of like all time. I love that speech. Right. Right, yeah. Uh, I think the cycle of hatred is, is a really, really good speech for sure. And it's something that, for the first time, I think really pushed Naruto to conflict with his ideology, like what he believed in and all that stuff. So it's uh, it's probably one of the most iconic, if not you could say the most iconic anime villain speech, period. So uh, it definitely carries its weight with its words. So do you want me to go ahead and give one of my quotes or did you want to give all of yours first or did you, how do you want to do um... this? We can like probably do it like back and forth so you can go ahead and like give a quote now if you want. Yeah, yeah. So my first one's actually from Code Geass and it's Lelouch uh, saying the the ones who should kill are the ones who are prepared to be killed. Um, I think that one's just really dope because it shows Lelouch's mindset of him being willing to like throw away his life to, to cause change. Um, it's like a quote from the Bible, you know, the, those who live by the sword die by the sword, right? And it's yeah. it's like you can't expect to live a life of violence and your life not end in violence. Um, so I think it's a very good show of just how willing and how strong Lelouch's convictions are. So that's why I really like that quote. Now see, I still need to finish Kogias. I'm like only on season one. And okay. it's like takes me... A good year or two just to finish season one. I suck at like this keeping up with like anime. Mm -hmm. Right, right. It, right. it season two starts off a little odd, but the ending of season two is what is uh, most known for, like the most well known thing about Code Geass. Yeah, the ending I know about. I just I'm like just really lazy when it comes to like me actually sitting down to watch one particular show. I can't do that. I have to like at least watch two shows at the same time. All right. So um, next one that I wanted to like speak about was the Mayuri perfection speech. Now, um, before that, Mayuri, he was like, you know, in my top favorite captain's list because I love like the whole mad scientist. Like if you put in like a good mad scientist vibe to one of your characters plus his design this looks really really cool mm -hmm. i am going to love him but then after the scene mariuri just give out like the most perfect um speech about how perfection itself is not always a good thing that just made me love him even more because like his perfection speech those are like words that i um truly do live by yeah, so you're talking if I'm if I'm not like messing things up, Mayuri Bleach, right? Yeah. 
Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. We're thinking the same character. Robot, mad scientist. Okay. Yeah. I was, yeah, uh, cause I'm currently sure. reading full bring and he hasn't uh, made an appearance at all in full bring. So that, that, or, yeah, no, he hasn't. He hasn't so far. Yeah. I don't think, yeah, yeah, no, he hasn't, but he's a, he's a very eccentric and different character for sure. Yeah. Like I said, I, I love him. It's like my own favorite, um, Bleach captain will just always be Kampachi, no matter what. I just love Kenny that mm -hmm. much. Right. But um, that automatically chopped Mayuri up into like number two or three. Because it was right. because as now it was like Kampachi, Dan King. I love King to death. Right. And now because of like that speech, Mayuri went up to like number three to me. Whereas oh, okay. before he was like probably number six mm -hmm. so yeah out of all the captains all right i'd say my yeah. top three captains are biakia kempachi and then gain so and uh, aizen doesn't really count but if we could count aizen i would but uh but my mirror is nonetheless still dope for sure um so uh i guess i'll give my my second quote now this one was tough because i have a lot of quotes from this series and this uh. character and specific but I feel like this quote is, um, it's, it's kind of a, it's sad, but there's also a, a feeling of, of finally being free. The, the word would be closure. Like you're finally reaching the ending of something and you can let go. And, uh, it's from Guts. And, uh, he says, even if we painstakingly piece something together or piece together something lost, it doesn't mean things will ever go back to how they were. And, uh, there he's in the context of what's happening. He's very, uh he's very specifically talking about Casca, and so you know no matter what it is like relationships this this mainly talks to relationships um where it's like you know you might piece it together but that doesn't mean it's ever going to be the same as how it was because you're still going to have the cracks it's still it was already broken at some point so for me that was a it was a really sad tragic but also kind of mature quote from a character like him knowing everything he's going through in the story so that, that would have to be my uh my number two quote all right now see i just got into berserk and that was like mainly after watching your um berserk videos and it right. only took me like two arcs to like legitly make guts my favorite protagonist of all time now Okay, I think I'm like okay. on the Golden Age arc, so I can't wait to like just dive deeper into um um his story with um you know and like berserk and all that stuff. Right, 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 yeah. Alright, so um I guess like my third one is from Chainsaw Man. Like this probably has to be like one of like my um favorite quotes ever, but it's um, towards the ending where we get to meet the new control devil and him just trying to figure out what's the best way to raise her and like you know that line just give her lots of hugs it sounds cheesy but at the same time I actually did enjoy that because hopefully now this new control devil can have um, like the family life that Machimo mm. won it, so I'm hoping that this time, you know, that this new one actually gets like lots of hugs and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm looking all uh, forward to Chainsaw Man Part Two. Thanks. Uh, very looking forward to that. The manga, seeing what it what direction it plans on taking. Now, I only got like one final quote because I didn't think I needed that many. That way, the video wasn't too long. Um, but the, oh, I got like one more myself. Okay, all right, bad, bad, bad. So the the final one that I got is uh, from Johan Liebert, Monster, and I oh, yeah. I don't exactly agree with this quote entirely um, because obviously Johan isn't like he's evil, he's nihilism, he's like this isn't some guy to be taking notes from in terms of worldview. It's not. If you have a worldview like Johan's, y you need to get it checked out. Um, but the only thing humans are equal in is death. Like it's it it's such a standout quote, and it's really the embodiment of his entire philosophy as a character into one. Like I, it's so rare to see 
like a character sum themselves up into one sentence but i think if you're writing a really good character uh more so antagonist they should express their ideology at some point and whether that's through a long speech like the cycle of hatred or just a simple quote like this then that that's dope now there's plenty other amazing johan quotes that he has throughout the entire story i mean basically anytime he speaks it's like a quote but this one specifically is is really key to his character which is why i love it a lot Okay, now see, the irony in that is that I actually had Johan's quote as, like, one of my faves because Johan is my favorite antagonist of, like, all time. Just, mm -hmm. like, ever since I've read Monster, he was like, okay, this is what my dream antagonist would look like. Right. All right, so, mm -hmm. like, my um, last one is from a manga called Boost basket, which is honestly one of the only socials that I would like actually ever sing. Um, that one is I don't think anyone is born with a reason to live, it's just something you have to find for yourself. And mm. I don't know like why that one just stuck to me. I guess it's because to me, life is kind of meaningless. So I, I I guess I do have like a very nihilistic point of view when it comes to life. But at the same time, if you can like just find that reason, then yes, life can be meaningless. But at the same time, it is up to you to like kind of find that. Give it meaning. That, um, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, um, thanks for coming on it really means a lot to me hey man no problem it's always a. Uh, it's more so an honor for me usually to be invited by other channels they want me to feature on a video so i really appreciate you having me on no problem all right so this is inks um with the masked man i hope you guys enjoy this little collaboration um also i want you guys to have a nice day afternoon evening wherever you guys may be at did you want to give like any um final thoughts nah yeah just um once again thanks for having me on here and uh same message to everybody hope that they enjoyed the video and that they have a nice day all right and you too thank you